Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. We've all heard about art imitating life, but what about when things go the other way around? Today, we're going to talk about the cheerleader effect. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the cheerleader effect. What? No, not that cheerleader effect. I mean, I'll admit, when I first heard of the cheerleader effect, my mind jumped to more high competition and reality TV shows too. Imagine my surprise on finding out this term didn't even start out in the cheer arena, or really even in the realm of science, but instead with this guy. If you've never seen him before, this guy is a character from a TV show called How I Met Your Mother. As a millennial, there are a lot of things that bother me about Gen X, but this show's a pretty good compilation of all of them. And this character, Barney, well, he says some pretty terrible things. In an episode of the show, he comes up with something he calls the cheerleader effect, which he describes as people looking more attractive when they are in groups than they do individually. For instance, a group of cheerleaders looks hotter when they're all together than each individual cheerleader does on their own. Interestingly, this is one of those times when the art came first and real life testing came later. Barney from the show claimed this to be true in 2008, but it wasn't studied in a scientific setting until 2014 by Walker and Volt. Their findings were robust. Humans do rate faces in groups more attractive than individual faces presented one at a time. They did give it a more scientific sounding name, the group attractiveness effect, but you'll still regularly find it referred to as the cheerleader effect. Further studies have shown that the effect holds true across genders and cultures. Many separate studies have confirmed that the cheerleader effect does seem to hold scientific merit, but the real question is why? Walker and Vol thought that it could be faces in groups are sort of averaged out, so that individual faces will seem more attractive when presented in a group because they will appear more similar to the average group face, which is more attractive than the group members' individual faces. This idea sounds very similar to some early Gestalt principles, but a 2019 study calls this into question by using identical faces for each person in the photo. That must mean there's something more going on than it being an average group face. After all, if all the faces are identical, your brain can't really combine them to form an average face, but yet the effect is still there. That same 2019 study also showed that the effect holds true for more than just faces. They tested photos of groups of houses and saw the same kind of effect, which shouldn't really make sense if it's something unique to human faces. One thing we can fairly safely say is that where someone is in the picture doesn't seem to matter. A 2018 study examined different spatial configurations of faces and whether or not where a face was in the picture changed the attractiveness rating for the people in the photo. Overall, where the face was didn't seem to matter. So I guess if you wanna seem hotter, just make sure you're in that picture somewhere. Another interesting point that the article made is that not much attention has been put into figuring out if the cheerleader effect works in other areas besides attractiveness. So could other traits like friendliness, intelligence, or extroversion be found from ratings of pictures of groups of people? The article stops there, but to me, this is starting to sound a lot like another much more well-known psychological effect called the halo effect. I'll link our video to that effect so you can compare and see if you think the two might be similar. If you want to see more videos from us, or if you want to know more about the psychological effects that might be impacting you in your everyday life, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! admit, I never really watched How I Met Your Mother, but 
the fact that the gritty reboot stars Hilary Duff, it tells me a lot.